Good morning from the heart, November 6, working with Christ. Hebrews 6, 10 says, For God is not unjust to forget your work and labor of love, which you have shown toward his name, in that you have ministered to the saints and do minister. Christ has identified his interest with that of suffering humanity. And while he is neglected in the person of his afflicted ones, all our assemblies, all our appointed meetings, all the machinery that is set in operation to advance the cause of God will be of little avail. All who are to be saints in heaven will first be saints upon the earth. They will not follow the sparks of their own kindling. They will not work for praise, nor speak words of vanity, nor put forth the finger in condemnation and oppression, but they will follow the light of life diffuse light comfort hope and courage to the very ones who need help and not censure and reproach and not censure and reproach the rich clear light that has been shining upon our pathway has placed us on vantage ground and we should improve every opportunity to do good christ came from the royal courts of heaven to seek and save the lost and this is to be our work the zeal which we manifest in this direction will show the measure of our love for Jesus and for others. The measure of our efficiency and missionary spirit. To every member of the church is committed a work and their sanctification will be seen in the efficiency, the unselfishness, the zeal and purity and intelligence with which they do the work. The cause of humanity and religion must not retrograde, go backwards. Progress is expected of those who have received great light and have many advantages. The church must be a working church if it would be a living church. It should not be content merely to hold its own against the opposing forces of sin and error. Not be content to advance with a dilatory step, but it should bear the yoke of Christ and keep step with the leader, gaining new recruits along the way. When we are truly Christ, our hearts will be full of meekness, gentleness, and kindness because Jesus has forgiven our sins. As obedient children, we shall receive and cherish the precepts he has given and shall attend to the ordinances he has instituted. We shall be seeking constantly to obtain a knowledge of him. Hope you have a great day today. Live from the heart.